Hey guys, it's Abby and today I'm doing my favorites for you guys. I'm doing a current favorites because I got a lot of stuff here that are currently my favorites and um, it's not just beauty related, it's a lot of related. <laughs> so we're here, I'm wearing my new favorite shirt for this video. It's the Polaroid shirt. You can't see through it so I can actually stand up this time. I got it from TJ Maxx and it is so cute guys. Like I love this. Also I'm going to let you guys know that my nail polish is chipped. Um, it looks it looks horrible and I know you guys say that I don't have to mention it. My kids are home too and they're playing a game so don't mind their screaming. They are fine. No one is getting hurt. They're just a 10 and 12 year old playing a game. I know I don't have to mention it, but I feel like I do. I mention things that I don't need to mention because maybe you guys wouldn't notice, but the few that will notice will tell me. <laughs> so I want to make sure that I pointed it out before you pointed it out. And now we're going to stop talking because this is going to be a very long video, super long. This is going to be a video that you are definitely going to need some coffee or some tea or wine. So let's begin. I don't know why I've been dancing like that lately. I have no idea. I, I don't, I am, I'm a dancer, but I'm not a good dancer. So let's just establish that. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this. This is a salad Tupperware container. I got it for my daughter for school this year because she loves when I send her a salad. But last year I just put salad in a little Tupperware container and then I just put the dressing somewhere else. This has it all together. So it has a snap closures. This is by Systema. I hope that's how you say it. It's made in New Zealand. It's phthalate and BPA free and it's Systema to go. So it has these little snaps so you can unsnap it very easily. On the top it has a divider so you can put, you know, vegetables in there or if something gets soggy or whatever you can just a sandwich anything on the top and right here is a little container for the salad dressing which is perfect size and it sits like that and it sits comfortably in there so you're not gonna have to like squeeze it shut it also comes with a fork and a knife which i don't know if she'll actually use these but if she doesn't that's fine if she does okay great so and i always send her an extra an extra fork last year because for some reason she always lost her fork i'm not really sure why but she did so they snap on the bottom so when you close the container they sit in there and they don't fall into the actual salad and look how big this bowl is that is a really nice size bowl for a salad and i love that it's all compact now i'm sure you guys have seen plenty of these but i've never bought one and i got it off amazon and this was like five dollars five dollars so i'll link it in my description box so if you're looking for a little salad thing for maybe work or for your kids lunches or whatever you can find one so we have this the next thing is i'm gonna do some delicious goodies right right now so i made yesterday okay so when i have really bad anxiety i need to stay busy sometimes i'll clean my house um you know, or I'll do like, not that my house isn't clean, but sometimes I'll just all of a sudden do like a really deep clean of my house. This week I've been cleaning out my kids' rooms because I purchased a whole bunch of new clothes. I wanted to get rid of the old clothes that they don't wear. I dusted, I scrubbed, I, I did everything. And then yesterday morning I woke up and I was like, I want to bake. I haven't baked in a really long time. I used to bake all the time. I am not the greatest baker in the world but my family eats what i bake and they love it so i was like i want to bake i want to see what i can make because sometimes i'll do um pierogies because pierogies is like a very tedious job you have to make the dough you have to beat the dough which is great when you have anxiety you have to make the fillings you have to then pinch then you have to actually get the dough and you know get the dough cutter out and then get the circles ready and then put the filling in and then squeeze them together. It takes a very long time. It is hours and hours of work doing progies, but I didn't want to do any of that. I wanted to bake. So I went on Facebook and a recipe was just sitting there. It's by Novice Chef and it was for pumpkin cheese, no pumpkin cream cheese swirl muffins. And oh my God, they're the best thing I have ever eaten in my entire life. It was super easy to make. Like so super easy that I couldn't believe how easy it was and maybe I'll pop in a picture of it but they looked amazing like I when I took the picture and I saw it I was like I could be a professional baker like I was 
taken back by the beauty of my muffins. So I wanted to share my muffins with you. They don't look as good as they did in the pictures because they were right out of the oven, fresh and delicious. And now these are a day old muffin, but they're delicious and they're really good at room temperature. I actually um, made two dozen of them because it was just a big recipe. Um, so I froze half a dozen, I froze one dozen of them so that I can take one out for breakfast in the morning and leave it out while I'm making lunches for the kids. And when I'm hungry, I can eat this with a cup of coffee. Um, and then the other, the other dozen are on my counter for my family to eat. But these are really good guys. And most of the bottom is, if you can see, you can see where, so this is the pumpkin muffin right here. And then you swirl the cream cheese filling on the top and it is so good guys so i'm going to link novice chef's link to this recipe for you guys because it is really really good i am in love with these muffins i'm so glad that i made them and i'm so glad i froze them because i'm gonna be eating pumpkin cream cheese swirl muffins for the next few weeks okay and then the next thing is my coffee I've been drinking this coffee for years, maybe two years. I found it for my sister Amanda, and it's the Cafe Bustella Espresso Style K Cup Coffee. Now, I also have one of those um, press, the coffee presses that I make with just their grounds, but I like the K Cups because they're easy and it's just a quick cup of coffee in the morning, especially now that my daughter has to be at school at seven in the morning. She has to get on the bus at seven. 7.06 or something, I'm going to have to get up super early because I make my kids lunches. Um, they should make them, them themselves, but it's something that I still do and I don't mind. It's just, you know, I just like making their lunches and putting little notes in there and embarrassing them. I just, it's just, I like it. So I love this coffee. So I just wanted to share it with you guys. If you guys are looking for a good, strong coffee, this is a great, strong coffee. I know you guys know what a K-cup looks like, but this is a really good coffee. It's strong, it's delicious. It's not bitter, but it's not, it's not like a super smooth coffee, but it's not a bitter coffee, if you know what I mean. And it's strong, and that's what I love about it. Okay, so another thing that is not beauty related are my Happy Waxes. So I found them on Bombay and Cedar. They sent like a little, they sent a little bag of these, like a sample size, as well as they sent, um, the burner and the burner is like a regular wax burner that you plug in but it has a silicone top so you can actually pop the wax out you don't have to scrape it out you just pop it out and i love the burners i bought another one um i think i bought two actually and i think it was two for 25 for the burners i went online onto their their store and bought a bunch of different waxes to try these are really great for sampling their waxes there are 3.6 ounces in these little things each of these cans are ten dollars a piece for 3.6 ounces and the big bags are $15 a piece. They were on sale, so they're usually $17.95 for a big half pounder. And the tins are usually $12.95, but I got $2.95 off of each can. If you bought four of them, you got them each for $10. So I paid $40 for these cans. And I have the Jasmine Honeysuckle. These are the best wax melts that I've ever used. They last for a really long time. I put three of the bears, and they are bears. Um, they look like this. I put three of the bears in the burners at a time, and the smell, like a really pungent, good smell comes from them for about two days, and then it starts to kind of like get more subtle as the days go on. So I usually scrape it out every four days. This, these four cans will last me about a month. And then these two, ba these two bags will last me about another two months. I think that's really great guys. I, I think it's really great. So I spent $70 on wax. I know it sounds a lot like a lot of money, but I love my house smelling really good. I have an obsession with wax melts and wax burners. My husband can't stand it. I have wax all over the walls because my kids just don't know how to be careful. Um, so the flavors or the scents that I got this time are the Jasmine Honeysuckle, which is a new scent. Then I got the Lavender Chamomile, and this is probably one of my favorites. I actually burn this near my kids' rooms because lavender always makes me feel relaxed, and chamomile chamomile tea makes you feel relaxed, so I like to burn this, and that I'm hoping at night maybe it will waft into my children's room and it will put them to bed. It hasn't worked yet, but I have my fingers crossed that eventually it will. Then I got the Apple Harvest, which is just like a regular apple, like, you know, it's just an apple. It's like apple, like an apple... You ever burn an apple candle, like an apple caramel candle? That's what these sound like. I have the vanilla orchid, and these smell amazing. I wish that I got a big bag. They are like a spring scent, and it's this is very floral. Like, if you don't like floral scents, you will not like this one. But the vanilla scent is very nice with the orchid smell, so 
Those are my tins. Then I purchased the cucumber melon. This is my all-time favorite one that I've purchased so far from them, and they have tons of scents. But the cucumber melon is really, really good. It is fresh and delicious and it just smells amazing this one lasts the longest for me in my house and they are these little green ones that look like this and you get eight ounces of wax in this thing and you you can even use just two of them and then when it starts the smell starts to die down i just throw another one in there and then for fall i got the pumpkin souffle and this one it smells like pumpkin but it has like a caramel smell smell to it I don't I can't explain it it's like a um like it smells like the apple hot apple pie candles has that like under scent to it what is that called that that smell that you can smell with it but you can smell the apple but this one has pumpkin with it instead this is a very strong scent so i probably only need two bears if the most because it's very sweet i kind of wish i didn't get like a half pounder with it but it does smell good and i'm sure it's going to last for a while because it is so strong but i did get the pumpkin souffle so I'll make sure to link the Happy Wax down in my description box as well. I don't make anything from any of the companies I'm telling you guys about. I just really, really like these waxes. They're the only ones that work for me. I have bought so many different wax melts, and so far these are the best ones that I have purchased. Really good. I really like them. I'm, like, obsessed with them, so... I just need to tell you guys about that. All right, so now we're gonna get on to some beauty. I, nope, I have one more thing that's not a beauty item. Last month I got a new subscription and it's, and it's called Pendant and Charm. And I get a lot of jewelry subscriptions. I was getting Glamour Jewelry. I don't get that one anymore. Um, but this is a new subscription and I was surprised with the quality of the jewelry. You get a necklace and a bracelet and you get charms sent to you every month. And the first month you get the necklace and the third month you get the bracelet, but you get charms for each one every month. And um, I'll link the subscription in my description box for you guys if you wanna check it out. I also have another unboxing of that coming up soon and she has a giveaway going on. But anyway, the quality of this jewelry is really, really good. I find myself grabbing for this necklace on a constant basis. And I've never done that before with another necklace or jewelry item I've gotten from a subscription. Like every once in a while, I'll pick up a piece of jewelry from a subscription box. But this one, I've been picking up each day to put it on just to wear it. The necklace is very, very nice. The quality of the necklace is absolutely beautiful. It's sterling silver and it's all nickel free, but the quality of this is really good. It's very strong. It's really pretty. It's lightweight. And this charm is just so cute. And the charms that you get on your bracelets, you can wear on your necklaces as well. I just really, really like the quality of this, of this jewelry. And I'm not just saying that because she sent it to me for a review. I really like the quality of the chains on this. I was just talking to my friend the other day about it. The chain quality is absolutely beautiful and it is sterling silver, so I really like that. I wanted to tell you guys about that because I grab for this all the time. I don't know why. I don't know why I've, out of all the jewelry I've gotten from subscription boxes, this is what I grab for, but I grab for it every day. Like I wear this all the time and I really, really like it. So. I love this shirt, guys. Like I freaking love this shirt. It's so cute. I'm wearing it with my new luxury diva leggings i don't know if you can see them luxury diva leggings i got my target shoes on i mean i am loving my outfit because i'm so freaking comfortable okay why i'm wearing shoes right now i'm not really sure but okay so i have some okay so the first thing i'm going to show you is the cuccio i'm not sure if that's how you say it i got this nail polish in my ipsy last month and i complained i was like i got two nail polishes but this nail polish is absolutely beautiful the color of this nail polish is fantastic i love it it's not like that typical red it's like a i don't know red it's just amazing the color is gia gaia i'm not sure it's g-a-i-a and I love this color so much. I've actually gotten more compliments on my nails with this shade on my fingers than any other nail polish before. This is a really great nail polish. It lasts pretty long for me. I'm a mom. My hands are always in dish water, in laundry, in everything. And this is the first time that I've actually fallen in love with a nail polish from any subscription box. Like this is such a good nail polish. I love this and I love the color. I wish I had another 
one of these because I'm gonna run out and you guys are gonna be like Abby change your nail polish and I'll be like no I don't want to because I love it so much and you'll be like you really need to. I'm gonna talk about brushes real quick so I have three brushes that I've been loving this one is the Moda brush we got this from BoxyCharm I love this for under my eyes I love to just like either swipe away any fallout or I like to put some banana powder under my eyes and just kind of you know brighten up my under eyes I love this brush for that it's just really soft and fantastic and I just really like it I'll link it down below for you guys I actually think you can get these in the boxycharm point like to redeem your points I think you can buy this with your points with boxycharm the next one is this one this is one of those Farrah brushes that I got from Ipsy and I love this this is the 50F the 50F Farrah brush I love that it has like little divots here so you can hold it but I don't hold my brush up there I like to hold my brush pretty far away and I love this for my bronzer I love to put it right here for in my cheeks and up here on my forehead it just kind of places the bronzer perfectly and it's soft but dense and I really really like this brush it is dirty because I use it all the time but I really really like this brush a lot it's probably one of my favorite brushes for bronzer ever and then then and then then and then I got this one this is the Joa large powder brush I picked this up when I did the um, full face of Joa makeup when it really wasn't a full face because I didn't use all Joa products because I gave up on them um, this is really great for face powder I use this a lot I even use it for um, bronzer sometimes this is really great it wasn't that expensive I don't remember how much it was but I'm not I'm pretty sure it wasn't I'm pretty sure when I picked it up it was like seven dollars or something it's it is a really good brush it's soft it like when you wash it none of the hair falls out it's a really nice quality brush from the drugstore I got this at CVS and again it's the Joa Beauty one like yeah it's Joa Beauty Joa J-O-A-H I'll try and find it and link it in my description box just like those um, and this one came in a set in a set of five or three I'm not sure but it came in a set from Ipsy okay then for my skincare I've been loving the Murad skin perfecting lotion I've mixed it up a little bit like I shook it up so it looks like I haven't used it but I'm about down to here now on this right about here um, and I love this as an everyday moisturizer when I wake up in the morning and I wash my face I put this moisturizer on when I get out of the shower I put this moisturizer on when I take my makeup off and I wash my face I put this moisturizer on um, I just really like it doesn't it. make me excessively oily I have an oily t-zone and it doesn't like make me oily or anything this is just a really great thin um face lotion i got this from an ipsy as well and i really like murad products i also have one of their eye serums i don't know if i've noticed a big difference with my eyes by using the eye serum but i do use it every night i just haven't noticed a huge difference and i wouldn't say and i wouldn't say it's like a favorite of mine but this is definitely then i've been using the avant hyaluronic algin retinol palmitate lots of other stuff eight hour retexturizing and anti-oxidizing hyaluronic facial serum whoa I've been using this every night I don't remember where I got this I either got this from my um, look fantastic or glossy box I think it was look fantastic and I think this was like $80 or something this is so good I use this as my serum so I'll put this all over my face before I put a face lotion on I just and I don't even know how I don't even know the right steps for skincare I don't have a step by step skin skincare routine I just use whatever products I feel like I want to put on my face first and I always put this one on first so like I'll use this and I only use this at night that's another thing so if I get out of the shower and I am putting my skincare routine on this goes on first and then I do my lotion this is like this is kind of like a lotion it doesn't feel very serum like um, it does give you some moisture but I do like to add some extra moisture on my face but this is really good I definitely notice a difference in my sunspot that I have over here that is you can kind of see how it's dark right there um, I definitely think this has made a difference and I don't know I just really like it I feel like it plumps my skin a little bit I definitely have noticed a difference from this because it's like the only thing I've changed and I really like this okay the next thing is this I got this from an ipsy as well and this is the lip oil by jelly pong pong cosmetics this is so good guys I put this on my lips and it gives you like a little red tint like I'll, I'll show you it's just a little bit of a red tint it's not opaque it's just a tint and um, you put it first of all it smells like a jelly bean it is a fantastic smell but 
it keeps your lips so moisturized and it looks so pretty on your lips. Like in the morning when I wake up, my lips are a little bit puffier than normal and I love to smear this on my lips and walk around and think that I had a lip injections because that's what it makes it look like when my lips are puffy in the morning. Like I'll be like, with this on and i think that i look fantastic with this on i mean i could have mascara under my eyes my hair is in a messy bun i am wearing my pajamas with an oreo stuck to my face because i fell asleep eating one but if i put this on i feel like i am superwoman and i am a milf like come on i really really like this stuff so i'm super excited Some about this. lip products because i'm already on lip products okay so the three four five a lot Okay, so this is the Steve Laurent lip liner. I don't remember where I got this. It was in one of my subscription boxes. It could be from BoxyCharm, but I don't want to say that definitely if it wasn't. This is the Steve Laurent lip liner in the shade Vogue. I love this so much. I, I probably wear this every day. I just like to wear it as a lip liner and fill it in just a little bit and put on lip gloss. That's what I have on my lips right now with this. This is the Alamar Cosmetics lip gloss that we got in a box charm. First of all, it smells like pineapples, and I love it. So I would like to wear these two together, and it just kind of like gives you a little bit of lip color that's not too in your face, but it looks really pretty, and I really like these two products. This is like a nice creamy, um, it's a, just a really nice creamy lip liner that I truly, really like, guys. Like, I, I love that shade. I love how it feels. I love how it goes on. It stays for a while. I mean, lip gloss kind of makes lip liner go away pretty fast, but this one doesn't make it go away too fast. It does make it go away fast, but not too fast. This is the Alamar Cosmetics Mother of Pearl Gloss in Sorrenta, and this is a really pretty shade. It's on my lips right now. And this lasts for quite a while. Like, if you're looking for a lip gloss that actually stays on your lips, this is a really good one. And I really like this too. And I got this from a BoxyCharm. Then I have the Dose of Colors lipstick from a BoxyCharm. And this is Pinky Promise. I love wearing this with any of the purple or pink eyeshadow looks that I've been doing recently. This is a really great thin liquid lip and it is very comfortable. When I first got this, I thought this was the brightest pink I've ever seen in my entire life and that I would never touch it. But I was wrong and I will admit that I was wrong. This is so beautiful and it doesn't look like a, like a, it doesn't look like a pink. It just looks like a magenta beautifulness on my lips. I love it. Sometimes I'll do like a really dark pink lip or other times I'll just kind of like dab it on my lips, pat it down a little bit and it just looks really pretty and I just, I love this so much. If you guys have been watching my videos and you see me with pink lipsticks, it's usually this one or a Jeffree Star one. And the last two lip products that I have are these. These are the ColourPlop, I always say ColourPlop. <laughs> these are, these are the ColourPop the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lips. One is in the shade Double Double. It's this pink one right here. I really like it. Um, it's just, it's a different pink and it looks like that. It's right there. I really, really like this shade and these are so comfortable, guys. These are the best. If I don't even know if you can technically call these a liquid lip because they're very thin, and but you can build them up. Um, but they don't feel like anything's on your lip. Like once you build them up and you put on a few layers, you can definitely feel like they're a liquid lip on your lip, on your lips. But these are so comfortable. You put one layer of these on and you don't even feel like you're wearing lipstick or a liquid lip. These are so good. I want the entire collection. If ColourPop ever calls me up one day and says, Abby, do you want the entire collection of the ultra blotted lips? I would say, heck yes, send them all to me because they are that good. And I don't even like liquid lipsticks at all, guys. Like, I think they're so drying, they're awful. I would rather wear a lip liner or a lip gloss or a lipstick than liquid lips, but these are really good. So the other one is in Cypress Chill. I actually like mixing these two together. It's one of my favorite lipsticks to wear are these two together. It just makes a really beautiful color, and I love these. These are so good, I wish I had more. These are super, super good. All right, so on to the eyes with these two products. I have the Clinique Chubby Lash Fattening Mascara. I have another one of these. I got these, I forget where I got in a mystery box um, from Poshmark, I believe. But anyway, I never used this. Like I had some and I just never grabbed for them. I just, I don't know why I just didn't grab for it. So, but I started grabbing for this mascara a few weeks ago and guys, this is really good. Like this is a great mascara. 
It's one of those mascaras that if I was to run out of the house, I could put this on my lashes and it defines your lashes, it lengthens them, but it doesn't make them clumpy. It just kind of like coats your lashes with a beautiful coat of mascara. And I really like this mascara a lot. I'm so glad that I actually decided to try it because it's really, really good. The wand reminds me a little bit of the Benefit Their Real Mascara Wand. Maybe no, no, not that one. The Tarte, the Man Eater one, that's it. Um, Cause it's like this big wand, but it's a really nice mascara. I'm wearing it today on my lashes. Let me see, if it, should I get closer? Probably. And I put like 17 coats on, so it looks a little thick, but this is really good. I really like that. Okay, so my favorite eyeliner right now is the Master Precise All Day Maybelline Eyeliner. It is one of those eyeliners that is a long felt liner. I really like it. Sometimes I'll be on Marco Polo and I'll be talking to my friends and I'll be doing my eyeliner with a phone in my hand and one hand on my eyeliner. And she'll be like, how do you do that without holding your eye? But this is really great for that because it's this long, long felt tip. So you don't need to do anything. You don't need to tug. You don't need to do anything. And it's very, it's like a wet eyeliner. So you just do one line and you're done. I love this eyeliner so much. I also have been loving the Kevin Aquan eyeliner that I got in my um, throne box, but I've only had it for a week and I don't think I can actually put it in my current favorites yet when I've only worn it for a week. You know what I mean? I, d I don't think I've tested it long enough, but this is my like go-to eyeliner. When I run out, I purchase more and these last a really long time and I do my makeup at least five times a week and this one's going strong. I think this is like three months old. I should probably get a new one, but I'm a dirt ball and I'll use it till it's dry. So I really like this. This is a great eyeliner. If you're looking for a drugstore eyeliner that works really well, this is a great one. Okay, so the next thing is the Blood Sugar Palette by Jeffree Star. I really, really like this. I actually took the plunge to buy this um, a few months ago before the summer and I thought I would regret it because I don't have a lot of his products and I've only gotten his mystery box before and I just, I don't know, I just, I kind of held off from buying this because there's a lot of colors in here that I didn't think I would like or use, but I find myself grabbing for this all the time. like all the time. I actually have to tell myself to stop grabbing for it because I tend to go for the same look all the time. But this is probably one of my favorite palettes I've ever purchased. I do believe that his eyeshadow is pressed, pressed, or pressed pigments rather than an eyeshadow, like a baked eyeshadow. So you do need a light hand, but this is a really beautiful palette. I mean, I love it so much. I grab for this shade all the time for every makeup look that I, every eye look that I start. I love this shade, I love this shade, I love that shade. I love all of these shades right here. And that's a beautiful shade right here. Like, it looks very dark, but it's not. It's like this purple, it's like a deep mauve. It's really beautiful. I mean, it's it's just really, really pretty. It builds up really well. It's like a, it, I thought it was gonna be like a red, but it's not. And then there's this one, which is the red in the palette. Not the red, it's like the berry red but they're very similar but different. And then we have this dark one right here, which is like a dark, dark purple, and it's beautiful. I love this palette so much. I grab for it constantly. Um, the reds do tend to stain my eyelids, but it's not like it stains my eyelids for days. It just takes a little bit of extra time to get the eyeshadow off my eyes, but um, I really love this palette. In my Tribe box for August 2019, I received two eyeshadow palettes. One of them is the Moods by Ruby May, and the other one is Vibes by Ruby May. These are really good, guys, like, so good. I don't know what I was expecting, but I definitely wasn't expecting the pigment payoff from these. I don't know if they're pressed pigments, but they're really good. They blend fantastic. They're absolutely stunning. And I'm so glad that I got them. So here are, here's this one. This is the Vibes palette. It's a bright, beautiful palette. This is like a duochrome right here. I really like it. This shade looks beautiful with these two shades and this one. Um, these three, this one, this one, and this one look really good together. But I would put, what I did was I started off with this one on in my crease, then I built it up with this, then I put some pink on my outer corner, then I put this, then I put this on my outer corner, I deepened it up, and then I put this and this one on my center lid right here. And then for another eye look, I use this one. And this is the Mood palette, and I used 
I want, okay, so I, I wanted to make sure I'm doing this right because I don't want to like lie to you guys and make up an eye look. All right, so I went into this palette again. I used this shade in my crease. Then I used this shade in my crease to deepen it up a little bit. Then I went in and I grabbed this one on my outer corner lid. And then I, so I deepened my corner lid with this. Then I used this to bring it up a little bit, like um, kind of like just to deepen up the outer corner as well. And then I used, you can tell I gouged it out. I used these two in my center lid and then I tapped this one on to make it a little bit more, a little bit more like colorful. Like it was a little lighter cause it was looking a little dark. These are really great guys. Really, 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 really good. Like I love these so much. I think they're $24.99. I'll link them in my description box. These are definitely palettes that you need in your collection if you like bright, vibrant colors. I don't even like bright, vibrant colors as much as I like my neutrals, you know? But I really like these. Like, I was surprised how good these were. And the last but not least is this. And this is the Daydream Palette by Alter Ego. I do have their Goddess Palette. And I had done an eye look. It was a brown eye look, look with a green, like a bright green shimmer on my lid. I just put those videos just up just the other day. I think it was my food for thought box that I had that look on but this is their daydream this palette. one's all purples and pinks and beautiful <laughs> I love this palette I love it so much I don't grab for it as often as I want to because I feel like I do purple a lot so I've been trying to stay away from purple lately but this is absolutely gorgeous it blends amazing like this blends so beautifully I have been loving this so much they did send me this um for PR which I wasn't expecting them to. They sent me this for PR and um, they asked me to do some looks and I never did. I never did some looks with this like on camera, but I have done looks off camera and I truly love this so much. Those are those two shades right there. They're beautiful. And when you blend them out, they blend out really well. They're, they have some glitters in here. The glitters are like glitter glitters, like they're right there and you need a glitter glue because when you put them on like that but I don't tend to go for the glitter glue this is actually right here is a concealer pot so you could put this on as a primer um, which I thought was really good but I like to start my looks with this shade and then I usually go into that shade and then I go into all the other shades their shimmers are absolutely stunning those are their shimmers they're just beautiful they're really beautiful if I'm using another palette and I need like a shimmer for my lid like a nice pop of a lighter shimmer I'll usually go into that palette for those shimmers they're really beautiful I definitely like this palette a lot and um, when my kids start school which is next week I'll be beginning to do some more makeup looks for you guys and I'm definitely gonna be doing some makeup looks with the vibe palette alright guys that is it for my current favorites right now this is what I've been loving and I'll make sure to link everything in my description box and I'm sorry it was so long but I really like doing these videos these videos are fun for me I just I love chatting with you guys I feel like sometimes YouTube can be really competitive and there's just so much drama going on a lot and I hate the drama and I don't want to be a part of it so I just kind of stay in my own little lane and I love doing videos like this I love chatting with you guys I love sharing things with you guys I kind of wish you guys were all here with me so we could like chat together but um I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you found something in here that you guys would enjoy and don't forget to check my description box because I have everything linked in there for you guys and that is it i hope you guys have a really great day today i love you guys so very much thank you for sticking through this entirely long video i have my kids um, i have my kids back to school haul come coming up next so i hope you guys enjoy that i thought some moms would enjoy it um some dads would enjoy it and that's it i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video bye